Hello and welcome to this session. Today we are going to discuss all about background in a very easy step by step way and we are going to learn what is background, why to use background in Cucumber BDD, when to use background and we will also see a very basic step by step demo on how to create and use background and towards the end I will discuss some very useful tips with you. So let's get started and let us start with what is background. So in Cucumber BDD we have feature or feature files and a feature can have multiple scenarios. So let us say we have scenario 1 and scenario 2. Now in these scenarios we can have multiple steps. So there are multiple steps like given when and then steps in scenario 1 and similarly scenario 2 can have multiple steps. Now let's take a very common scenario that each of the scenario will have some common steps. Let us say login is a common step in both of these scenarios. So the user first has to log in and then only he can do the rest of the actions on the web website. So here we can actually put this login in a common section called background. So here we will create a background section and we will put all the login steps that is go to the login screen and then add username and password and then click on login button all these steps will go into the background and then we can remove these login steps from the scenario so now we can put all these common steps in all the scenarios of this feature into a common background section so here background is a step or a group of steps that are common to all the scenarios in a feature and you can define it once in the background so that it will run before each and every scenario of the feature. So whenever you have these common steps you want to run before every scenario you can have a background section and put all these common steps in the background section. So this is what background is. Now why, why to use background so that we can avoid repeating the common steps in every scenario and it will make it more readable and more maintainable and unlike hooks background is visible to the readers of the feature file so we have studied hooks in the earlier session and we know that hooks are invisible to the readers of the feature but background is visible and it is also visible in the result file so if you have such a scenario where you want all these common steps to be visible to the users to the readers and also to the viewers of the result file you can use background and in a moment I will show you how so when to use background whenever there are any common repeating steps in a feature and whenever you want all these common steps to be visible to the readers you can use background now let us go to our demo and let us see how exactly we can create a background and then run the background so here step number one is we will create a new feature file you can also use any existing feature file I will go to my project I will open Eclipse and this is my project here and here you can see I have all these folders and packages if I go to my resources I have here features and here I will create a new feature file so I can go to the features folder and I will just create a new folder here first you can directly also create a feature file I am just doing this for documentation purposes I will say this is background demo and then here we have a folder background demo now I will do a right click in this folder and now create a file and I will name this background demo dot feature so I have created a folder and then a feature file background demo dot feature and this is the feature file I am going to remove all the default content and let me create a new feature here so I will say feature and let us say check home page functionality so this is a feature where I am doing some actions on the home page and now I will create some scenarios so I will say scenario and let's just say uh, here I will try to go to some website let us say orange HRM any demo website you can take and here I will do login you can see we have this admin and admin123 as the credentials I will say admin admin123 and click on login 
if this site is not active at your time you can use any other site this is just for demo i am showing i am not going to create the actual login and uh, all the browser actions this is just for demo so let's just say this is my home page and let us say i need to uh, validate that when i click on this welcome link the logout link is visible so i will create a scenario check logout link and here i will say given user is logged in when user clicks on welcome link then logout link is displayed so a very simple scenario and i will do a right click and say pretty format to correct the formatting so here i am checking the logout link is present similarly I will create another scenario and here I will say uh, let's just say I will say when I click on dashboard link I am able to view the quick launch toolbar this is the quick launch toolbar so I will say verify quick launch toolbar is present and here again I will say given user is logged in when user clicks on dashboard link then quick launch toolbar is displayed and i will again do a right click and say pretty format so I will save everything I have created a feature and I have created two scenarios and now you can see in these two scenarios user is logged in is a common step so now step number two is I have already created the steps for the scenario in the feature file so we have done step number two step number three is I can now create a test runner to run this scenario or to run this feature file I can use an existing test runner or create a new one so I will go to my SRC test Java package and here I have uh, let me just go to where are my test runner so yes here we have all the test runners i'm just going to create a new test runner i can use any existing but just to keep it separate for documentation i'm creating a new class here i will say test runner for background demo so this is the name i have given test runner for background demo you can name it anything and say finish so i have created this class and just i need to add the cucumber options which i can take from any other test runner so let me just copy this from here and i am pasting this here so this is my test runner and i have to give the location of my feature file so this is my feature file here i will do a right click and say properties and I will copy the path relative to the project path so I will start from SRC and I will copy all this and just paste it here this is my test runner so here I'm just going to paste this one and then for the step definition or for the glue steps as of now i do not have anything so i'm just giving any dummy value here i'm yet to create the steps which i will do but just for now let me check if this runs fine i will do a right click run as j unit test and let me see in the console this is running fine it is asking us to implement the missing steps which is fine i can just copy this from here all the missing steps and i will now create the step definition so we have completed step number three that is we have created a test runner class and we have also executed that test runner file that is step number four and now i will have to create a background section but before that let me create the step definition so i will go to my src test java and do a right click and create a new package and i will say this is steps for background 
now the reason I'm creating all these classes and packages as new is because so that when you have this project you can refer this and I have everything here documented properly so I have created a new package and inside this I will create a new class I will name this as background demo steps and here I can just copy and paste what I have copied from the console all these missing steps I can paste it here so all this is has come here and we are having these errors because we have yet to import this from cucumber I will import all these annotations given when then all this will be imported from the cucumber libraries and everything is fine now I will select everything pressing ctrl A on my keyboard and I will press ctrl I to correct the formatting and these two statements I can remove I will click here and press ctrl D and again press ctrl D so we may not need this as of now I'm just keeping it empty because the purpose is to demo the background section so I'm just keeping everything empty and I have all these functions here or the step definitions for this feature file I will save everything go back to my test runner and now I also have to provide the glue code or the step definition package which is this steps for background I will say this is steps for background so should be fine now let me go and run it I will click on the run button and let us see and looks like everything is fine you can see it says two scenario passed and six steps passed so this is running fine now I have to demo how to use background so here you can see these two steps that is user is logged in are common and instead of repeating them in every scenario I can create a background section so I will say here background and I will name it as user is logged in the same name I'm giving here you can name it anything and here I will give the steps so I will say given user is on login page when user enters username and password and clicks on login button then user is navigated to the home page so I have created a background section and I have added the background steps and this is our step number five that is create a background section and add the common steps and now I can remove this from here I do not need it here from the scenarios I am going to delete the given step because this is taking this has been taken care in the background and now if I run the test runner file I will go back to my test runner and execute and let us see the output so here it is asking me to implement these new actions which I have added in the background so let me first just copy them from here and add in the step definition file I will go to my step definition and just add these background steps here and I'll just remove the extra statements which I do not need and should be fine and I will just correct the formatting I will press ctrl I and now everything is fine so you can see this is my complete step definition I will go back to my test runner and I will now run the test runner file and now let us see the console so if you see here you can see in the scenario check logout link first it is running the background so these are all the background steps and then it is running the actual scenario steps similarly in scenario 2 which is verify quick launch toolbar it is first running the background steps and then it is running the steps of the scenario so now this is how it will work it will first run the background steps for every scenario and then only run the rest of the steps of the scenario and this will also be visible in the 
reports so if i just go and check so if i see my test runner there should be a html report created in the html um, in the target folder so if i go to my tie target folder here and refresh here i should be having a html report created and here it is i will do a right click and say open with system editor so it opens a chrome browser and now here you can see we also have the background steps and then we have the scenario steps similarly for scenario 2 we have the background steps and the scenario steps so this is how background will run and you will have the steps in the result as well as it will be shown here so this is now very easy that any reader of this feature file or scenario will know that this is the background these steps will get executed before every scenario and then it makes it very easy for readability and maintenance so we have done step number five we have also done step number six that is run the test runner file and check the execution of background so this is how we run the background now some very useful tips so you can have only a single set of background per feature file in case you want to have multiple background or multiple uh, different background sections you can consider breaking up the scenarios into more features so this was one very useful information and use background so that all the stakeholders can understand the scenario so you should be knowing that what are who all are your stakeholders who are going to read these feature files and accordingly you can create background if there is some very common thing that you know everyone will be knowing and it is uh, okay to put that in a background so you can do that so accordingly whatever is your scenario whatever are your stakeholders whoever are your stakeholders accordingly you can select and uh, create a background and keep the background section short do not make it very complicated so keep it simple and short so in this session we have learned everything about background in cucumber bdd i hope this was very useful for you and if you have any doubts any questions you can let me know and i will see you in the next session thank you for watching